Another aspect of cameras that are quite important is the ability to magnify an image. We've seen already where the placement of an object in front of the lens dictates how far the lens has to be from the film or the CCD so as to match the image distance with the distance from the lens to the film. But now we talk about how magnification happens in a camera. So clearly a camera at home can be used to zoom in and, and make larger certain distant objects. How does that work? Well again the lens just redirects light that is heading in all different directions down to a certain point on the film. Magnification is that particular topic where we say the, the, the amount of magnification, the, the relative size of the image relative to the original object, is related to minus the image distance divided by the object distance. So, so if we knew something about the image distance and object distance, we would be able to calculate the magnification. The object distance is the distance of the original person in front of our lens. The image distance is this distance between the lens and the film. That's not the same as the focal length, of course. These two quantities are related to the focal length by the, the well-known equation 1 over p equals plus 1 over i equals 1 over f. We can manipulate this equation to say 1 over i equals 1 over f minus 1 over p, or 1 over i, if we put a, this all over a common denominator, is p over pf minus f over pf. That's the same as i equals pf over p minus f. In other words, we just take 1 over the previous expression. Now when we think about magnification is minus i over p, that means we have to take our new expression for i and divide it by p. So magnification becomes minus f over p minus f. Thus the only thing that affects the magnification is bringing the object distance p closer and closer to the focal length f. The, cl the closer p is to f, then the, the smaller the denominator becomes and the bigger the magnification becomes. f, remember, it's just a, dis is a property of the lens. We're all familiar with the focal length as, as it is behind the, the lens. That's the, that's the point where parallel rays, the incident parallel rays, will focus to. But there's also a focal length in front of the lens. That's where if we put an object at that point, then its rays will come out parallel to the right of the lens. So what we're saying here is that as soon as we bring our object closer and closer to this focal length, we'll be able to make the magnification in, in essentially infinite because then the denominator goes to zero. So the closer we can get p to equal f, the bigger the magnification will be. I tried showing this just at home. Here are three pictures of my watch and the, the top picture is when we have an object that's far away from our camera and you can see that it's not magnified very much. As the object gets closer to my camera, then it becomes more and more magnified. That's because of that expression where p minus f is in the denominator. Notice, however, if the object's too close, then the object is inside the focal length of the camera and I can't even get a, 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 a non-blurry image anymore. That's because I can't keep moving my lens out away from my film indefinitely. At some point the camera just doesn't extend any further because of the, the limitations of the housing of the camera. So if we get inside the focal length or we can't move the lens out any further, we just can't bring this picture into focus. So there's an ultimate limit to magnification that you can do with a camera. Now, there is something you can manipulate, and that is that you can try to change the focal length. If you can't bring the object any closer to you, you can always move the focal length closer to the object. Remember, when an object is far away from the focal point of your lens, its magnification in your camera will be small. Many photographers then choose to switch lenses to a longer focal length lens or use an adjustable compound lens which has an effective longer focal length. Remember what the original picture was. If we have a, a person standing in front of a lens and it has, there's a focal length uh, of this lens, if the person is infinitely far away then the image will be at the focal length. If the person is closer than the infinitely far away then of course there's an image distance related by 1 over i plus 1 over p is 1 over f. Well, there's that focal length out in front of the lens that kind of dictates for us when it is that we have, uh, we've gotten our object close enough that we'll have significant magnification. If that focal length is small compared to the distance that, to the person, we're not going to get much magnification at all. But we could choose a different lens. 
And with this different lens, you still have P being the same size, but if F is larger for this different lens, then it's possible that we brought effectively the object closer to us because it's the difference P minus F that matters in magnification. So there will again be a, a focal length to this lens and it's going to be longer. That means I'm going to have to move uh, the image plane further back. But then there's that same focal length out in front and notice that now the object is closer to the tip of that focal length than it was in the first case. So this is what is the principle behind a telephoto lens. A telephoto lens is one with just a really long focal length, and that's because uh, when you get an object close to the focal length away from you, or from your lens, then you'll get a larger magnification. Of course, then you have to move your lens further away from the film because you have to form an image. And you've seen this all the time. You can take a couple of different pictures of some situation, one with a normal lens and one with a zoom lens. And when the object is far away from the focal point, its magnification in your ordinary lens will be small. But then you switch lenses to a longer focal length lens or use an adjustable compound lens, a so-called zoom lens. And by adjusting this focal length, you can bring the focal length out closer to where your object is. And this brings you a, lar a larger magnification. So the same scene, you now are zooming in on some very small part of the field of view. So that's the principle of magnification. It has only to do with how close your object is to you or to your camera, or conversely, how close your focal length can be brought out toward the distant object. It has nothing to do with um, how big the original object is. It has, you have to just get the object close to the focal length.